Hey everybody, it's Doris Trombley here with Japanese from Zero. And today on Japanese in Five, where we take five minutes out of your day and learn some Japanese, we are going to be talking about time. So stop fighting those scorpions. And you no, know, actually, keep fighting those scorpions. You got to keep killing scorpions in your backyard. They are very dangerous. You don't want to have scorpions in your backyard. Trust me, I know. Today's topic on Japanese in Five is eating, not eating scorpions, hopefully. Hope, hopefully. You know, it's actually kind of hard to talk with braces. It's not easy. So please bear with me for the next couple of years. Today, we're going to be talking about eating in Japan. It's going to focus mostly around this kanji right here, which is the kanji to eat or food related words. And it can be read in the following words that we're going to be reading as ta, as in taberu, ku, as in ku, and Shoku. Let's go ahead and get some words right out of the way that are really important in five minutes. We got shoku yoku. <clears throat> shoku yoku. Shoku yoku means appetite. You could say shoku yoku ga nai. I have no appetite. Shoku yoku ga arimasen. Shoku chudoku. We never really want to have this happen. Shoku chudoku is literally food poisoning. I uh, don't want to get that. I did get that once at, I'm not going to say the name of the place, but I didn't eat there for a year, although I do love that place. Uh, tabe mono. Tabe mono just means food. We've got kui shinbo. Kui shinbo is, uh, it really doesn't mean big eater, but it's someone who eats a lot. It's a glutton. I don't think we really use this word glutton in English, but uh, you could say, Watashi wa kui shinbo nan desu yo. Kui shinbo. Atashi kui shinbo. I am, I eat a lot. It just means you, you don't stop eating, you love eating. All right. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're fat. Uh, then you've got tabe Hodai, tabe hodai, which means all you can eat. You can have anything hodai. For example, you can have nomi hodai, all you can drink. If you go to a bar that has nomi hodai, it means you can drink as much as you want. Uh, now, we have another word for food, kui mono. We'll talk about the difference between tabe mono and kui mono in just a moment. All right, now let's get to Three verbs that mean to eat that you will come across when you're speaking Japanese. This is the most common one. We're just going to go through a couple examples. Taberu. Taberu just means to eat. It's an iru eru verb, which means you drop the ru and you add your verb endings. So taberu becomes tabemas, will eat. Tabemasen, won't eat. Tabemashita, ate, etc., etc., etc. All right. Tomodachi to sushi o tabemas. I will eat sushi with a friend. Tomodachi to sushi o tabemasu. It's important to point out here, I guess, that the tabemasu form, uh, depending on the context, can be uh, future tense. I will eat. For example, if we threw ashita in front of this. Ashita, tomodachi to sushi o tabemasu. Tomorrow, I will eat sushi with a friend. But if I said mainichi in front, now it shows this habitual thing, an ongoing present tense thing. So, mainichi tomodachi to sushi o tabemasu means I eat sushi every day with a friend instead of I will eat in the future. All right, just a little bit of side note there. Uh, nani ga tabetai desu ka? Nani ga tabetai desu ka? What do you want to eat? Remember that when a verb becomes its want to do form, you don't have to, but it very commonly uh, uses the ga as the particle instead of the o. You could say nani o tabetai desu, but more commonly it becomes nani ga tabetai desu, which theoretically makes it what is a thing you want to eat instead of what do you want to eat. Although that really doesn't change the meaning. It just is what do you want to eat overall. Uh, it's just a semantic thing. If you have an o or a ga there, it doesn't really change much. Although you're going to hear everyone mostly use ga. All right. <clears throat> now, I uh, went ahead and made this sentence. Uh, this sentence is, uh, I'm not going to call it genius, but it's pretty good. It's got every single reading of the word of the kanji uh, for food in there. So let's go ahead and read it. See if you can figure it out. Watashi wa kuishinbo da kara shokuyoku ga nakute mo taksan tabemasu. One more time. Watashi wa kuishinbo da kara shokuyoku ga nakute mo taksan tabemasu. That should be enough time. This means even uh, because, because I am a glutton, even if I don't have an appetite, 
食べます。I will eat a lot or I eat a lot. It's probably me. Probably defines me perfectly. Okay, now we're going to learn this other. So, taberu, we know, is your everyday way to say eat. Now we have this meshi agaru, which means to eat. It does mean to eat. It just is very polite form. Okay, so for example, if you even go to McDonald's in Japan or any fast food restaurant and you order at the counter, they will ask you this very question. Tennai de meshi agarimasu ka? Tennai de meshi agarimasu ka? Will you be eating in the store?、Uh, that is. Uh, as opposed to mochi kairi, taking it out and eating it somewhere else. You will definitely hear that. All right. Now, because mishi agaru is a polite term, which t- your polite terms in Japanese are used to raise somebody up, humble lowers you down, but this is a raising up of the person. So you could say, Sensei wa nanji ni mishi agarimasu ka? Sensei wa nanji ni mishi agarimasu ka? Remember in Japanese, This sentence can go either way. Okay, it could be, What time will teacher eat? Okay, but really, it's what time are you going to eat when talking to your teacher? That is simply because Japanese don't use anata like you would think they do. Like we use in English, we say, What time do you eat? But typically, the most common way to、uh, say you in Japanese is by calling someone by their name or their profession or their status. Oka san. You know, whatever they are, whatever their role is in the family, you would refer to them as that very commonly、uh, for most roles, like oji san, oba san, instead of calling them by their name. So, in this case, when you say, Sensei wa nanji ni meshi agarimasu ka, if I was subtitling a movie or an anime and this was on the screen and they were talking to the teacher, I would say, What time are you going to eat? I wouldn't say, What time are you going to eat, teacher? Wouldn't say that. Okay? Dozo, o meshi agari kudasai. Now, you could say, Meshi agatte kudasai. But、uh, let's not get too deep on this. When you hear this, this is, this is the way they're going to say, please eat when they're talking up to you. If you're at someone's、uh, house and they're, they're treating you to dinner at their house, they might even say this to you. Dozo, o m i s h i agari kudasai. They put the O in front, which is we, we've discussed in other videos, that is called bika, bika go, which is beautification. Adding an O or a go to a word makes it a beautification word. Uh, which makes it more polite, very common in Japanese.、Um, so you might hear, but more likely you're going to hear, dozo, o mishagari kudasai, which is basically the same thing. All right. Now, for the last verb, this is one you might not have heard before. It is very rough. It means eat. It doesn't mean eat or eat very nicely. It means eat, eat, ku. It's vulgar. It is only to be used with friends. Okay. So, I could say to my friend, Mo kutta. Now, notice all of my sentences are going to be very rough. Mo kutta. Did you eat already? Did you eat? Did you eat? Did you eat already, buddy? Very, very rough. Mo kutta. I could say, Mo kuimashita ka, but that would be weird. Why would you take such a vulgar version of the verb and make it into a polite form? It, it is very weird to do that. Okay. Ore to hiru meshi kuanai. Now, this way of asking somebody, In a negative form, won't you eat with me? Is it just a very suggestive way to do it? Kuanai, hey, don't you want to eat with me? Will, won't you eat with me? Okay. Now, you might have seen this word before, hiru meshi. It is written with the same character. If I had this in kanji, it's the same character as hang in hiru go hang for hiru meshi. This is the rough way to say lunch, hiru meshi. You might hear just meshi all by itself、uh, to mean、uh, a meal. Okay. So, ore. Rough for I, but it makes sense because we're using ku. We're using the very vulgar form of the verb to eat. Ore to hiru meshi. Kuanai. Sorry, I almost said tabenai. Kuanai. Hey, man. You want to eat, eat lunch together, man? All right. Notice we don't even have a particle here. I could have a particle. Ore to hiru meshi o kuanai. But in an informal speaking, a lot of times those particles are dropped. And our last sentence, which is very big. Now, what I'm going to do for this one is. Let's leave this for the comments. Let's see how many of you can get this in the comments below. It is, Ie ni kuimono ga nai kara konbini de katta onigiri o kutta. Now, kuimono, I said I would talk about at the end. It is just the rough way to say food. You can say kuimono instead of tabemono. They both mean food. You don't want to use kuimono with anybody unless they are your very, very good friends. Okay, 
uh, or perhaps your family. Remember, with your family, there's no such thing as rude, really. So, 家に食い物がないからコンビニで買ったおにぎりを食った。I'm looking for a very specifically correct sentence. Think about it before you put your translation down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more things like this, actually, I don't know if this is in the book,、uh, book two or book three even, but Japanese from Zero teaches you the basics from zero all the way up to right now, book four. Book five is being worked on, I know, for about a million years, but you can get them on Amazon.com. And if you don't have a normal country, if your country's weird, you can get it from Book Depository. Thanks for watching. See you all on the next Japanese from Five. Oh, man, you are dedicated. Like, you think something special is going to happen here? No. I'm just going to recommend you to watch one of these videos because, hey, more views equals more cash in my pocket.、Hmm, should I say that? I probably shouldn't say that.